Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Dave Sean, and we're back with episode 2 of the Bedrock Scripting API Tutorials. So in this episode, I figured I would do something a little cooler than just display some text. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can start using the Git Component feature of the scripting a of the scripting API, uh, along with spawning some particles in the world, which everybody loves particles. So let's just get right started into this. So we're going to be doing this on the server side. So we don't need the client side. You can keep it open if you want, um, but we're not going to be using it for this video. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and copy this over our display chat just just so we don't have to type that all out again and i already have this in the watch function going so that way we can just save and jump right into our um, into our minecraft cool so in our initialize we're going to go ahead and listen for certain events we're going to go ahead and say this dot listen for an event and this is going to be the minecraft now we're going to do this on um, a player attacking um, an actor as they, as they call it, but pretty much a player attacking another entity. So we're gonna go ahead and say Minecraft and we're gonna say, oops, if I could type, Minecraft player attacked actor. And then we're gonna go ahead and say event data and it's going to be this dot and we'll say spawn particle and it's going to use event data cool and so let's go ahead and make that function else let's just say server system and we called it spawn particle equals function event data all right so now that we have we have our function ready it doesn't do anything yet but it is ready to go. And if we were to run this, we could simply just go ahead and say display chat. So let's actually just go ahead and do that just so we can check to see if this is working. So let's just go ahead and say broadcast event display chat. And then let's say, um, let's do it in color, let's do gold. And we'll say particle effect spawned at entity location. Great, so now if we go to our worlds and we launch our TSC bedrock or whatever you named yours, now we should be able to go ahead and see this. Okay, so we are in our world. We can see that our client script loaded. And now if we attack, we can see here that particle effect spawned at entity location. Now, most obviously it did not spawn at the location because we haven't done it yet, but we know that our code base is working, so that's good. So let's go back, let's just save and quit so we have that done. Let's go back into here. And now what we're gonna do is you can create these JSON scripts outside of your, of, of your JavaScript file. Um, but we have to create JSON files for the particle effects that we want to use. Right now, the, the list is very limited to what you can use. So just keep that in mind. But first though, is we have to get the position of our entity, right? And now this is where the git component um, feature comes in to play. And I'm just gonna pull something up here uh, just so we can see, just so I can show you guys sort of what I'm talking about. So if we go, if you download the vanilla behavior pack, which you should, I didn't mention that in the last video, but you should download that just so you can sort of see things and see how things are, are set up. So let's see, we're, we have cows. So let's get the cow JSON file, the vanilla cow JSON file. Okay, so we loaded in here the vanilla cow JSON file. So if we go down here to components, we can see here that everything inside of here, we can access with the git component. So that's really awesome. It allows for us to really quickly and really easily be able to edit these events. And then we'll see here that there's all these different uh, events that happen, but yeah. So let's just close that down. So what we need to do is we need to get the entity from this 
player attacks actor. If you go over to the wiki, you can see what is returned or what the parameter is. So it's actually called attacked underscore entity. So let's keep that at the bottom just so it doesn't happen when it doesn't actually happen. And what we want to say is we're just going to go ahead and create a const. We'll say entity. And this is going to be event data dot attacked underscore entity. And this is just going to get the object or the, the value out of the object that is event data. And so now we're going to go ahead and create a var. And this is going to be so now we're going to go ahead and create a var. And this is just going to be entity POS or position. And this is going to be this dot get component and it's going to be our entity and we want to go ahead and get the minecraft colon position Let's make sure I spelled that right I didn't position yeah there we go <laughs> sound it out great so now that we have the minecraft position or the entity's position next we want to do is we want to go ahead and create the particle right so we'll go ahead and say particle and now this is going to be a JSON. So we want to go ahead and say what the effect is that we're going to use. And there's not very many, like I said, there's not very many effects. Um, but let's just use, okay. So now that we have that all set, we have our position set, we have our particle created. And the only reason we're putting position in here is because we're doing spawn particle in world. Now you could do spawn particle on the entity and then you can just set the position here inside of there. Um, but we're gonna do it this way just because I think it's a little easier. And we'll just go ahead and say broadcast event. And now this is going to be Minecraft spawn particle in world. Pretty self-explanatory names. <laughs> And we're just gonna go ahead and spawn particle. Cool. So now if we save this, remember we still have our go watch on and we go into our world. We can see here that our client script has loaded, which is kind of useless information here for what we're doing. And if we hit them, we can see that our particle is not going. So let's see if we spell something wrong. So let's go ahead and check up out of here and let's go into VS code and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. So there was a really, 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 really easy error that I did, was not paying attention to. Uh, I had event data, so I didn't have event data. I had E V E N data, uh, which was the reason why all of this wasn't working, uh, which is really weird um, because the chat worked but not the particle so but after i changed that everything seemed to work just fine so let's just go ahead back into our minecraft here and i am using the mob flame just as a heads up again and let's check this out so what should happen is when we attack an entity it should spawn let's just spawn a bunch of cows it should spawn a particle so it spawns it at the location. If you wanted to use the update method, uh, you could have it so this is run every time or like it stays, for, I don't know how long these ones stay, um, but if we were to change it to like smoke flame or something like that, um, these would go away pretty quickly. This is actually staying for a really, really long time. Okay, uh, was not expecting that. Hopefully these will go away. Uh, hello, go away, please. All right, anyways. Um, so, so in this video, you guys learned how to use the Git component. You guys learned how to spawn particles in the world, and you learned about using the server side of things. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. Not sure what I'm going to be doing in the next video. Uh, hopefully, something pretty fun. Maybe we'll start messing with uh, different player values and all that. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.